Uh, there's been an uptick in methamphetamine use in Claremont County, according to the Claremont County Sheriff's Office, as well as hospitals in the area. As Nine on Your Side's Paula Suro tells us, most of that meth is coming from another country and goes by a different name. Methamphetamine has skyrocketed. Our hashish, uh, those numbers have, have gone through the roof. 90% of that hashish making it to Claremont County through the U.S. Postal Service. That's according to the Sheriff's Office. While most of the methamphetamine the county sees is coming from outside the country. Almost all of it is coming from Mexico, and it's the ice, with it, with, what they're going to call ice, which is those shards instead of the junky looking white powder pinkish. Well, Lieutenant Nick DeRose with the Claremont County Sheriff's Office says that there really has been an explosion in meth abuse and it's also translated into what hospitals have seen in their emergency rooms. Very, very difficult to manage um, from an emergency department standpoint. We unfortunately have had some incidents where we've actually had staff members um, being harmed by patients presenting um, under the influence of methamphetamine. Mercy Hospital and Claremont Municipal Court probation both seeing this uptick, as well as an increase in an unexpected mixture of cocaine, meth, and fentanyl. The patient will say that they were only intending to do meth, but yet um, their drug screen's positive for multiple substances. Positive screens for fentanyl. <clears throat> Have skyrocketed really primarily between 2017 and 2018 our fentanyl numbers went up 150 percent and we currently have like a 56 percent increase with our methamphetamine use our just opiate use is down by 80 percent so we're really seeing very little true heroin opiate yeah. use um, by itself. And while there's been an increase in meth, hashish, and cocaine, the use of heroin has dropped, according to Lieutenant DeRose. Ninety percent of the crime in this country is due to drug use. People are stealing because they need their drugs. People are stealing from their family, or yeah. whether it's meth or fentanyl, they're very addictive drugs. Paolo Suro, 9 on your side.